uh, Alitalia Airlines, and when I, when I flew from Amsterdam to Rome, lost all of the merchandise. And and they lost all the t-shirts and all. Did you have t-shirts in your bag, George? No, I had CDs, and I lost that, and my uh, my bass guitar. So I dropped like I dropped like seven hundred, eight hundred dollars right before I left to get all those cool t-shirts made. And in case you wonder what airline flew in, I'm not gonna say any names, but it rhymes with Wontinental. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Continental. Look, it's backing up for us, eh? A little more. A little more. That's the right there. That's the right there. Dude, I cannot tell you how sick and tired I am of the airlines. I just passed a billboard for EasyJet. <laughs> I'm so sick and tired of them jerking, jerking us around. Yeah. Your, your base, the CDs, my bag with the CDs and the shirts. Yep. What's that all about? Right, well, they've got an acoustic base. Um, it's going to cost 40 pounds per day. Which is put about seventy dollars. I know you're all happy and grateful, and so am I. But they're a multi-billion-dollar company, yeah. and, and if you bitch just a little bit, they'll bring you a check for fifty bucks. Is that what <laughs> Do I get my CDs too? What? Yeah, both bags. Actually, yeah, he's all happy. He doesn't care about. It. Yeah, get to do the from my CDs, Dan. My bags. Yes. See, look at all that. All the songs, all the Blue Meridian songs, right in there. That only I can understand. All right, we did it. Coming here. Um, 
the voltage here is twice as much as it is in America, so we're having issues trying to convert all our equipment. No fear. I'm the bus driver and I'm not driving a bus. Oh, here we go. A true test. <laughs> yep. Right. <laughs> why, why are you on the wrong side of the road? <laughs> Do we have any idea where we're going? I need everyone to circumnavigate. It makes a lot more sense. Like when I was riding shotgun in the car and I hadn't driven it, I was losing my fucking mind. But now that I've driven the last like 100 feet or so, yeah, I have a lot good. more confidence. So, yeah, so I've, I've sung before on shows, but my throat has been bothering me. But. I didn't have to sing the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and, the next day, and, the next day, and I'm afraid that's going to catch up to me at some point. We'll see what happens. They have a charger or an adapter at the airport. Square one. This is the whole British countrywide power conspiracy. They're trying to keep us down. And another thing, Starbucks. In America, there's a Starbucks on every corner. Danger, danger! High voltage! When we touch! And when we kiss! 60 quid to fill to fill the bus. Looks like. 100, 105, 110 American dollars? About $100. About $100 to fill the bus. Yeah, melting keys or bus. Let's go to the Brit flag. It is yeah. like the Ramones thing. We just noticed that. Yeah, yeah definitely. Very nice. Yeah, so we're hoping that, that yeah. doesn't say Germany on the back, unfortunately. Yeah. So what we're doing is we're hoping that they think it's a Ramones shirt. And, and buy it. Buy it. No. Yeah, that's, good, that's a good reason. <laughs> <laughs> so just so you know, we're just uh, two acoustic guitars and bass and three vocals. So, you know, if it, we're only playing five songs, but if you decide you want to jump in on the drums. <laughs> I'm Blue I'm from Los Angeles, California, and uh, playing all over the UK. So I just stopped by here and do this thing with Marky. And uh, anyways, I think the main reason why we're up here is just to keep you keep the tomatoes from hitting the equipment behind us. Heading towards Hitchin, which is in Hertfordshire. Uh, we're playing in the Silver Moon pub. We're at the uh, Silver Moon Pub. Across the way, there's, it looks like there's a fair going on. And uh, we're gonna go try our luck at the Midway and see if it's fair or unfair. George!
to Stalebridge today, which is just just southwest of uh, Birmingham. You're gonna wait for me? I was on the wrong side. Are you gonna wait for me? Yeah, but did you notice that? Yeah, you're on the wrong side. Yeah, of the they go lift, lift, <laughs> lift. I'm like ah. It's a snow white sofa sound race to get your knickers down. I know you're looking up my sleeve. I know you don't believe. In a pinch black wedding gown, I'll set you drag some cans around. I know you. I know you don't believe me. We're on our way to uh, Stour Bridge, which is like, if this is if this is Birmingham, which is the the biggest city in the West Midlands, it's it's like here. And we're about here, and we're kind of going under it to avoid some of the traffic. We'll see Birmingham tomorrow when we um, when we uh, go to the BBC. But um, this is cool. Hitch Hitchin was a very very small, tiny, I very small we, British town. We drove around there like what six times in half an hour. And um, the show tonight is going to kind of be the same thing. And it, it's cool. It's, it's kind of hard to decide what what's a better gig. These tiny little pubs where. You know, all the people come out and they're like, we've never seen an American band before. Or, or the, you know, playing in larger towns like London where, of course, they have seen plenty of American bands. But um, the, the tour is sort of a balance. It's sort of a nice balance between the two. Wow. That's one way to get to Star Bridge real quick. I thought I touched down in Shield Town. I just don't get it. I hear my heart out the wind. By your exit, don't kiss me with your tongue and treat me like I'm no one. It's bad on you, it's so bad for me. I wrote this song, I was uh, dating a girl for like uh, two weeks, we met, uh, she was a waitress. And I said to her, what are you doing tonight? And she said, going out with you. Let's do this tomorrow. And she says, oh, I can't. And I said, why? And she says, I'm going to Europe tomorrow. I said, how long are you gone for? She said, three months. That's horrible. You didn't tell me. And she said, I'll send you postcards. I got one postcard from Amsterdam. And then that was it. Two weeks later, I was really missing her a lot. I was at a traffic stop and I smelled her perfume that was embedded in the fabric of the seat and uh, that's what inspired me to write this and uh, um, I would have called it I still smell her perfume on my headrest but it didn't sound that good so I called it I still smell her perfume on my shirts. She's photographing Leningrad someone else's tripod and I'll bet she's not so pretty through a fish eye lens she's in Amsterdam Waiting on the mailman to bring me a postcard from who knows where She's at the trolley stop And I'm on the rooftop hoping to spot her from way up there She's on a I'm on the line round, I still smell a perfume on my shoes. Captain Hank right here provided the uh, the accommodations for us. I'm pleased to meet the video camera. Always. <laughs> he came through like a champ. We're here in uh in uh where the hell are we? Starbridge? Starbridge and uh, we had no place to stay and we met Captain Hank last night at the uh, Broadway and he was kind enough to offer us to invade his house. Last night there was all these clouds in the sky like now, but there was like a moon and it was and it was backlit and it was very it's very spooky. And today it just looks like a nice church, but it's weird. That church is my favorite thing about our stay here last night. Doing the tourist thing today, a little radio interview tonight, and then off to Leeds tomorrow. The bus thing is getting fun. Traffic's upon Avon again. 
we've just seen where Shakespeare was born, done a tour of his house, it's pretty cool. Um, we're just about to head back to our hotel, have a shower before we go out for a meal tonight. Uh, but we can't find Chadwick or George anywhere. Yeah. Uh, any idea what they are, man? What is this? It's kind of like hidden path, overgrown path. Yeah, can you get down there? I don't know. Wow, this is weird. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> Holy shit! What are you guys look doing? Guys. Hey, look at these flowers. They don't have flowers like this back. They're tiny, but they smell. It's really weird. These are great. This is our first sit-down meal that we've had since we got here. Cantonese. And you know what? It tastes good. It's nice to have um, real meat instead of just meat-flavored crisps. On our, uh, when we're done here, we're on our way to the uh, BBC to do a radio interview and perform a couple of songs, hopefully. So that should be kind of cool. Cheers. Music in the studio because it's a Tuesday tonight. Delighted to say, joining me in the studio, surrounded by thousands of people by the looks of it, are a band called Blue Meridian. Thanks for coming in, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah, I had a really bad note. Small pub, did. Was it the last? To entertain you. I did hear that. Beautiful. Okay. Maybe look up. We're on our way to Leeds right now. To play at the Cockpit Bar, which I think is going to be one of the best gigs of the uh, of the tour. Go over to the uh, the bank of uh, Lloyd's of London over here and take out a loan so I can pay for this guy. Live stand-up comedy. On the ear pod. You never, you never see two dudes share an ear pod together. We don't even need a dude separate. You call it an ear pod? You ever pass out, drunk or just plum tired, next to your platonic friend, and find yourself in this particular predicament? Dude, what are you doing? No need to ask, cause it's a dude separator. Dude Separator mm -hmm. Why You guys have been pod? That's what's it called? iPod I know oh, that, that strange slang language that you speak in <laughs> Oh yeah, the lo Cockney lo rubbing slang Cockney rubbing slang is <laughs> Rhyming slang Yes Like Barney Barney rubble Like, trouble, a, like right? instead of let's go get some beers, let's get some Britney Spears Yeah, yes. yeah. Like, Gump. So I called it an earpod and I'm using Cock me rubbing slings. <laughs> 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 I won't 
live here right without you, my baby, don't go. I'm so it's few for the record in the FM radio. Manchester last night we uh, we left Leeds and last night was the first night we had a little uh, what would you call it issue. Uh, little issue we had as they would say in Britain we had a row arrangements and uh, things got a little testy between everybody it's a little rough I mean it was like eh, it's four o'clock in the morning and everyone's just like bloodshot eyes like I mean you should have seen Jeff his eye he, he starts getting red around his eyes he starts getting red around his eyes and and he does this thing with his top lip where he goes yeah he's like I don't think that we should put it in his eyes around it. And it's like, oh shit. We got one room and we confiscated everybody in, you know, sneakily <laughs> in. And uh, so we had like like six or seven people in one hotel room. One of the problems is this, um, uh, the, the the bus that we're driving in, the minibus, or uh, it's actually, you know, I mean, it's not like a, you know, huge, impressive, you know, Metallica tour bus or anything, but it's big enough that it doesn't fit in 90% of the car parks in Britain. We had a hell of a time finding a place to, to leave the van. We discussed it, the issue's not gonna come up again. Um, and yeah, it's kind of like a fresh start now, I feel. From this point on, this is gonna be the best tour ever. I'll drink to that, cheers. Cheers. I've done like seven shows so far, eight shows, and um, I mean, you know, longest tour we did ever before, prior to this one was like nine dates or something. And it wasn't a show every day. This is like a show every day, two shows in one day. This is every night singing. And also, you know, when you've been living in Los Angeles for a while, you get acclimated to um, all of these smoke-free rooms. And um, here, it's just like, it's like you're singing inside of a erupting volcano. So far, my voice is holding up. I've hit one really bad note, and that was on the on the uh, BBC show. Last night um, in Leeds, I I made up for it by doing a uh, by doing a four up on uh, Daniel's by. Yeah, hey right. brother, put that gun away. You can't have your way with Daniela. Soul sister, it's just a friendship with extra benefits. Never gone four up on Daniel's by ever, and I did it last night just to make up for the sour note on the radio. What's your name? Gary. Gary yeah. from Scotland. So it's a good, good town, good party town. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, got it from Scotland. Look, it's a Chadwick twin. We found the Chadwick twin in England style too. He's got a chocolate haircut and a chocolate jacket. Look at this. High five, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Blackpool now, and it's the 12th. Um, we played in. Uh, where did we play last time? <laughs> There's a tower here in Blackpool that's like. Um, well, the top of it is in the clouds, and um, apparently. There's a, uh, a thing where, where you can go to the top and you can stand on glass and look down and um, 